going to expertly design the music for a mobile game that me and one of my friends are working on. In this video, I'll show you how I made the epic music for this game and how it's going so far. So, I guess you can call this like a... A music game dev sort of you want to watch this video to the end to see how the music turns out trust me so after a few weeks Arlodo wanted to make a factory type of game and the moment he said this I instantly thought of my industry satisfactory factorio so I listened to their backtracks and found a few things that all of their soundtracks have in common and this really gives it a nice factory vibe number one usually a lot of calming or confusing type of music shut up <laughs> with a lot of synth and if you don't know what synth is, it's basically just cool electric sounds. Number two, it usually has a lot of repeating patterns that go up like a rocket or, or down like, like, like a falling rocket. Number three, a lot of ambience, usually like wobbly ambience. And now with these factors in mind, I started to work. Now a very cool concept that we looked into was something called procedural music generation. Now, if you were like me and don't know what the how that is, it's basically just music but kind of random and it's adaptable to a situation or parameters in an environment like a game so for example if larry here is mining a tree a basic soundtrack will start playing with maybe some chords and beats but as soon as the bad man comes and wants to hurt larry the soundtrack will automatically adapt and an intense tune will be added to the music that we heard earlier and when the man goes away it will return i saved you there larry so now that we know what it is, it's time for me to start working on it. So I've made all of these different samples. First we have some jazz chords for the bass. Then I use the synth to make what, what, whatever this is. But the cool part is actually these notes. I'm going to use these 8 notes. And they are going to play randomly to make it feel like like more and more random and confusing atmosphere. But that's a problem for coding me later. But before we go look at the other parts of this song, let's go check on the other songs that I've made. For the next song, I used what I learned from analyzing the factory game music. And I used that rocket technique from earlier. And and, and now I have this. It's amazing, right? And then we ha of course have like thick ambience and then we have some hi-hats. Back to the important stuff. I also made this very cool synth that also has its own rocket thing. And finally the lead. I just made this simple melody. What the hell is this? It's almost as if I added more ambience, but this time it sounds like the James Watt steam engine. Now for the final song, I wanted to make something really calming to contrast with the other songs. And now I have whatever this is. But I can't remember what the how I used to make this. And it says it's an Aleph O. Okay, so apparently it's just a sound with a very low frequency. So yeah, at least I know now. Then obviously we added some chords for the ambience. I also added this cool little part that boards up expansion and then also this guitar thing. Back to the procedurally generated music. We wanted the music to intensify whenever an enemy or for now one of these stupid red dots come close to you to indicate that you are in danger. So guess what? We have more rocket pattern things and not just one. but two of them so now all i have to do is put the music into the game 
Now luckily I have some experience with Code Wars and I decided to code the music system myself. <laughs> that was a smart move. Can't be too difficult, right? It took me five hours, oh my soul, but it's, it's, it's done at least and, and it works. Anyways, everything is at least working now and if you look at my code you will see that I only use the most efficient code possible and nothing can tell me otherwise. And if you run it, it'll choose the song randomly, play it twice, and move on to the next song. So Loader just has to figure out how to make certain files play when like an enemy comes close. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's his problem, I'm done.